Item number SCP-3878. Index. Words will never hurt me. Object class. Falmiel. Special containment procedures. The procedure required to operate SCP-3878 has been restricted to level 5 clearance and translated into the GMBU language. Decryption of the document will only occur with the majority assent of the O5 Council or when the semantic fallout produced by SCP-3878 fades, at which point in time SCP-3878 should be activated again in order to ensure that the GMBU language's cognitohazardous properties and thus tactical utility are retained. Knowledge of SCP-3878 and the continued existence of the GMBU language and people is to be removed from public access and restricted to level 4 personnel and above. Extremely sensitive messages should be first translated into GMBU by an authorized speaker designated an SCP-3878-A instance and then translated back into the appropriate language by another SCP-3878-A instance. Both subjects should be amnesticized directly afterwards. Due to the difficulty of teaching the GMBU language to subjects, SCP-3878-A instances should be exclusively drawn from the native GMBU people. Image The area occupied by speakers of the GMBU language, represented in purple. Description SCP-3878 is a semantic weapon developed by the Obscura Corps in 1938, derived from the study of anomalous conceptual objects retrieved from the Thule Society's expeditions into the multiverse. It represented a significant deviation from the majority of semantic weapons at the time, in that it did not rely on a bulky and easy-to-detect physical component. Rather, it only used a single human who was subject to a 16-week psychological conditioning program. The conditioning program uses a strict regimen of psychotropic drugs, electroconvulsive therapy, and, at the conclusion of the program, trepanation, to create an extremely strong anti-concept within the subject's mind. When the subject is activated via exposure to a previously chosen trigger stimulus, the anti-concept interacts with that of the subject's native language and turns all instances of that language, whether written, recorded, or otherwise, into a lethal cognitohazard. That exclusively affects people who do not fluently speak that language. History SCP-3878's to-date only activation was carried out by the Obscura Corps on the 2nd of July, 1939 as part of an effort to cut off secure Foundation communications channels. Seventeen years prior, an alliance between the Foundation and the GMBU people had been formed for the sake of containment of an unrelated now neutralized SCP object. During the Seventh Occult War, the Foundation hired members of the GMBU people to securely transmit tactical messages using codes developed from the GMBU language. In an attempt to sabotage these channels, the Obscura Corps kidnapped a member of the GMBU people from Site 43, at the time Research Camp Quisling, and subjected him to the procedure used in the deployment of SCP-3878. He was then exposed to the trigger stimulus, resulting in the GMBU language becoming a lethal cognitohazard to non-native speakers. Soon after this activation, the GMBU language was temporarily given the designation SCP-3878, while wide-scale containment was implemented, and all agents fluent in GMBU placed in containment. After several months of research into the anomaly and using the intelligence gathered by reconnaissance missions in the Pacific Theater, the Department of Analytics concluded that SCP-3876 was in fact a result of the semantic weapon deployed by the Obscura Corps, now designated SCP-3878, and that this in fact increased the utility of GMBU speakers as a tactical asset, since eavesdroppers trying to intercept their communications would be killed. Further intelligence obtained following the surrender of Germany indicates that the actual effect of SCP-3878 deviated significantly from the original intent of the weapon. This can be attributed to the lack of rigor present in the Obscura Corps linguistic investigations, mainly as a result of bias introduced by researchers attempting to prove the linguistic superiority of the Indo-European language family. The detonation thus produced a fizzle in which a large amount of conceptual fallout was dispersed.
but no actual conceptual destruction occurred. Had SCP-3878 functioned as intended, the entire language would be erased from the consciousness of all its speakers. Following the breakup of the Obscura Core, several copies of research notes used in the creation of SCP-3878 were lost. Investigation as to the possibility that these notes were leaked to hostile groups of interest is ongoing.